If you are tired of building an interior scene from the floor plan, you know it can be tedious. As you might expect, manually drawing every wall, extruding them to height, then cutting out spaces for doors and windows is actually time consuming. But the procedural interiors add on basically takes the tedious process and makes it much easier and faster. It lets you load a reference floor plan image right into Blender, trace over it, and then it automatically generates the entire 3D structure with walls, openings, and all. But how does it exactly do that? So, with just a handful of controls, you can define a house or an apartment layout, tweak its shape and style, and watch the space form. The add-on updates the model in real time, as you adjust things like wall positions or room dimensions. So, the good thing, you will get instant feedback. And here's the good part. You can experiment freely with the floor plan, move the wall, change the room size, and adjust the overall proportions, and see the results immediately, without having to remodel everything manually. It is kind of a really fast way to iterate on design, letting you try out different room configurations, and you can do that on the fly. Another great thing is that everything generated by the add-on stays fully procedural and editable, which means you're never locked in. You can go back and tweak any part of the interior at any time through a handy panel, which gives you control over its architectural element, including walls, door openings, windows, etc. So if you suddenly decide all the door should be a bit taller, or a particular wall should be thicker maybe, it is just a slider or some value you have to change. Even special areas like kitchens or closets are actually smart. They adapt automatically to whatever layout that you have drawn, adjusting built-in elements to fit the space without a fuss. And honestly, this is a huge time saver in my book. The add-on also lets you propagate changes to identical elements in one go. For example, you can update one window and have that change apply to all windows. And you can do that when it comes to all the floor, or even across multiple floors for that matter, to keep things consistent. So this saves you a ton of time and keeps you from repetitive tasks, but it still gives you the freedom to override and swap out anything that you want to change later. And if you are wondering about furniture, there is a feature called Furnace Subspace. Essentially, once you've laid out your rooms, you can select a room or subspace and have the add-on populated with relevant furniture in a sensible arrangement and you get to pick from a few layout presets for different room types or styles. And then procedural interiors will drop in and organize the furnishings for you. It is great when you need a room finished in a hurry, like for a quick visualization or a first draft layout, before you fine tune things. For example, you could block out a bedroom, and on the fly, it is furnished with a bed, nightstand, wardrobe, etc. All positioned logically, which is great. It is almost like magic. As you can see, this can be a huge time saver, sparing you from doing everything manually and wasting your time. To complement the building tools, Procedural Interiors also provides a built-in library of assets. That is, if you get the full package, we're talking over 150 furniture and decor pieces that come ready to use. So you have a bunch of chairs, tables, sofas, lamps, appliances, and other everyday items, which you can use right away. These assets are crafted to fit nicely into each other and into the scene itself, and they are designed to be used in interiors, so you can expect something good to come out of it. They also play really well with each other. You can mix them with any asset libraries, and everything will blend together naturally, as you can see. This means you can rely on the included pack for quick furnishing, or swapping out your old models or whatever you prefer. And generally speaking, the add-on has a clean UI which helps you do things smoothly. For example, there is an apply model button to convert the procedural setup into regular mesh objects once you're done, which is great if you need to do manual tweaks or export the interior to other software. And this export option is actually a big plus, that is, if you're working in game engines. So you can generate an interior in Blender and then send it to game engines like Unity or Unreal without major hiccups. So guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. 
Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.